for today's video, we're shooting the new Hornady CX bullet, 30 caliber, 165 grain. I'll be shooting my first block with a 308 at lower uh, velocities, simulating longer range. I'll flop them, shoot a full load out of a 30-06, and then flop them again, and for shits and giggles, destroy that block with the 300 PRC. Although that looks decent, it actually just came in, tumbled, rotated, and tumbled again. So we're gonna crank them a bit hotter yet. That one's going 1,461 feet per second. And I can tell by the way that one looks, it definitely opened up. Started to veer up and came out the top of my block right here. It was definitely moving fast enough at 1,747 feet per second. He did not have a lot of information on these, so I do not know what their minimum velocity rating for them is. But you have it penetrating, losing its little heat shield tip at a half an inch, starting to open up, carrying good permanent wound cavity from that two and a half inch mark to just shy of the 10 inch mark, still carrying some permanent wound cavity past the 21 inch mark and exiting the gel at 26 inches of penetration. That larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is almost exactly three inches. Definitely dumped a little bit of energy there. Mostly because I hit a little bit too low on the block. penetration reason. Decent looking mushroom there. That one was going 
2,795 feet per second. have it starting to open up almost instantaneously carrying the better portion of that permanent wound cavity to just past the 10 inch mark and then pin lining and that leading edge is 22 and 3 8 of total penetration from the center of that track we're gonna it's about three and a half inches so if I would have hit the center of my block, it should have tore all sides of the block. Definitely did its job quite well there. Let's flip these around and blow this one up with the 300 PRC. fragments of that last bullet. Some fragments up there and that core definitely exited traveling that fast. Some more fragments from that hitting that hard. That one was going 3,290 feet per second. As you can see, it decimated that first block. Didn't do a ton of damage. Shed some more pedals. And then exited for well over 30 inches of penetration. I gotta say, I think Hornady did a good job as far as how that monolithic bullet performs after impact definitely holds together well enough even at that extreme high velocity um, did great down to just under 1800 feet per second I'd have to say their new design bullet definitely performed well they claim it's the most advanced monolithic bullet on the market definitely did well in this testing I'm confident it will do well in the field hope you guys enjoy the video not sure I mentioned that last velocity, but it was 3,290 feet per second.